Hey guys, I wanted to offer up an idea for you before I get into today's video. I've been getting a lot of questions lately from viewers who want to know about something specific I'm doing or, or something they saw in a video and they'd like me to answer the question in a video, but the answer would only take a few minutes or the explanation or whatever it is they're looking for. So I was thinking today is uh, February 12th. If you guys had a question or something that you wanted me to explain, I'll do a dedicated video uh, and just kind of cover everybody's question all in one video. Um, Nathan Elliott did this a while back and it was pretty cool. So between now and we'll say March 1st, uh, go ahead and either leave a question in the comments. You can email me at 5 tonfabrication at gmail.com. I'll leave a link below. Uh, just if you got a question, feel free to ask. If it's not saw, sawmill related, uh, let's, uh, well, we'll make it anything goes. The, the most recent question was about this fence behind me that's uh, bordering my horseshoe pit. He wants to uh, make a fence similar to it and wanted to know more about it. But the truth is that was made from uh, wood that I just had laying around. The, the sizes don't match. They're not the same as you can see. And the posts are just, uh, I think they're three inch diameter fence posts that were here when we bought the place. And I drove them into the ground with an excavator and uh, just kind of dressed it up from the front side. So questions like that, anything goes, let me know. Enjoy today's video. Morning guys, it is uh, chilly here in Oregon today, but it is somewhat sunny and in February we call that a win. So today I thought it'd be a good day to make these panels that I need for my wife's partition wall. And basically these are uh, my reclaimed wood that have been cut in half. They're, uh, they're two inches thick by 13 inches wide and so I'm gonna rip them down to roughly one inch thick. So I'm gonna go dig through my pile and get what I need brought up here, set on the saw horses and uh, pull some nails and, and get to sawing. Now the opening in the frame is just under 69 inches I'm going to cut these 72 inches long so that I have room on each end of the of the board to screw it down to the base. Uh, I've shown this process before in another video, but uh, in case you missed it, you're going to see it again. This, this board's 24 feet long. It, it does have some cracks in it from uh, when I tore it out of the building. I don't think the cracks, as long as they're fairly tight, I don't think it's going to be a big deal. So. I'm going to rip me some uh, 72 inch boards and, and get them on the mill. So real quickly, I thought I'd take a second here and show you the difference between this old growth lumber that I'm uh, resawing and stuff that you buy today and what, what the difference is. <clears throat> this is a two by four, uh, probably purchased recently. And each one of these dark lines represents a year of growth in the tree that this wood came from. It's probably at least a quarter, maybe three eighths of an inch between each ring. This is the stuff I'm working with in the old growth. I mean, it's it's less than a, a 16th of an inch. There's probably 30 years of growth per inch in this uh, piece of wood right here. Whereas that other one, you've probably got four years or less in an inch. Much stronger wood. Um, 
impossible to find at a lumber yard these days. Couple, couple more nails. Now the reason I'm doing this up on a block of wood is the saw will only cut within about three quarters of an inch is about the as close as you can get to the deck. And I'm gonna be cutting these boards at roughly an inch. It's, it's doable, but it's a lot easier just putting it up on this piece of uh, four by 12 or whatever it is I've made there. I can see what I'm doing really well. It just takes a couple of screws to hold it down. I'm gonna go nice and slow, save myself from uh, doing any damage to the wood with the log clamp. Well, that pretty much went flawlessly. Uh, zero issues. I'm still using the bimetal blade that I've been using for uh, what feels like forever. It's cutting awesome. I, I didn't run any water because this wood is drier than dry and I don't want to risk uh, warping it or discoloring it. This is uh, who knows how many years of patina and so I don't want to stain it with water. Um, I do have some some stain uh, there's a couple places where there's a chunk missing and it's fresh wood I've got some stain that's almost a perfect match so I'll doctor up a, a couple of those spots I've made two more boards than I need so that I can uh, kind of pick and choose and get the best of the best now it's time to uh, cut some plywood and build the backers 
that these are going to mount to. Now, once again, all this is is a timber that was, uh, it's got a split in it. I think I was cutting it for something else, but couldn't use it. I just have two screws sticking in the edge here. They're sticking up half, maybe three quarters of an inch. I've got this piece of wood as kind of a, a stopper to keep the wood from trying to slide. But just these two screws and a couple towed in at the ends hold, holds the wood in place, no problem. So uh, if you're looking to resaw, this is a pretty handy way to do it. It's not the only way to do it, but uh, this is the way I do it and it, it worked pretty slick today. Well guys, that's gonna do it for today. I'm gonna to have to run to town to get the plywood that I need for these backers. Won't be able to do that today, but uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. I'd like to mention that coming up in March is the Con Expo in Las Vegas where they show all the newest, latest, greatest equipment uh, for construction and, and earthwork. And I believe it's uh, agricultural stuff too. Uh, my company's gonna be sending us foreman down there so uh, I hope to have some pretty cool footage from the Con Expo this year. They do it every three years. And I may even try and go live. So uh, I'll see if I can figure that out. Maybe uh, give you guys some live footage from down in Las Vegas, uh, March 13th, I believe. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching, guys. And stay tuned. I'll be getting back to this uh, within the next couple days.